Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and here are three different ways to record your vocals in GarageBand on an iPhone or an iPad. The first method is to use the built-in microphone in your iPad or iPhone, but you will also need some headphones. And if your phone or iPad does not have a 3.5 mm audio input, you're going to need an adapter. If you've got the older version lightning connector, you will need a lightning to headphone jack adapter, or in my case with my temp generation, you'll need a USB-C to headphone jack adapter. Then simply plug the headphones into the adapter and then plug the adapter into your iPad or iPhone. Now the reason for using headphones is so that your recording doesn't pick up the metronome if you've got the metronome playing or any backing tracks if you were singing along to backing tracks. The headphones jack needs to be a TRS jack, which is a 3.5 mm jack with two plastic rings. On the track screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll across the screen and tap on the voice icon. Plug your headphones into the adapter and then plug the adapter into your iPad or iPhone. The monitor on or off button at the bottom right of the screen should now turn blue. Tap on it so it says on. You can drag the dot on the line above the monitor button up or down to adjust the headphones volume. At the bottom left of the screen, above the word channel, it should say mic. Mic is the built-in mic in your iPad or iPhone. You can drag the dot on the line above the word channel up or down to adjust the recording volume of the mic. but normally this would be set to about halfway up the line. Tap on the metronome icon to turn on the metronome if you want to sing in time with the beat and do not already have a drum or beat track in your song. Tap on the back to start icon, then tap on the record icon and record your vocals. Then tap on the stop icon to stop recording. Now tap on the tracks icon and your recording will now appear on the vocal track. The second method is to use a headset with a built-in microphone and here I'm using a PS4 headset. Once again, if your iPad or iPhone doesn't have a 3.5 mm audio input, you will need an adapter. And again here, plug your headset into the adapter and then the adapter into your iPhone or iPad. The headphone jack must be TRRS, which is a 3.5 millimeter jack with three plastic rings. When you plug in the adapter, you should see this pop-up message. Tap on Turn on Monitoring on the pop-up message. It will also now say USB above the word Channel. The third method is to use an audio interface. And to do this, you will need a portable audio interface. Here I'm using a Zoom U22 a microphone, here I've got a SM58 microphone, a pair of headphones, and you're going to need an adapter for most of the audio interfaces. Here for my 10th generation iPad, I've got a USB-C 
to USB A adapter, which I can plug the audio interface into, and then plug the other end of the adapter into my iPad. When you plug in the adapter, you should see this pop-up message. Tap on Turn on Monitoring on the pop-up message. It will also now say 1 above the word Channel. You can now tap on the 1 and choose another input if your audio interface has more than one input. Now I know some of you are going to ask me, can you use a Bluetooth headset? Well, the microphone in a Bluetooth headset, certainly to my knowledge, is not recognised by GarageBand on iPad or iPhone at this moment in time. So you can't record through the microphone. You could use the earpieces to monitor your recording, but there is a lot of latency. So your timing of the recording will be out of sync with the rest of your song. So I don't recommend using Bluetooth headsets. Also, some of you are going to ask me, can you use a USB microphone? Well, some USB microphones are only designed for computers and will not work with an iPad or an iPhone. And those that are detected by GarageBand will be set up as if they are a headset, which is my method too. So you will need to make sure that they've got a headset input on the microphone. Otherwise, you will not be able to monitor. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.